Welcome to our house around the corner. I'm your host, Trisha Zima. We're down at the Keys Men's Shed in Keysboro. This is part of a Learn Local organization here called the Keysboro Learning Center. This learning center with less than 35 staff and 80 volunteers has supplied training to over 1,200 students in 2010. This men's shed is just one part of that training center. We're going to visit the men's shed today and then meet up with Mary, the acting manager of the Keysboro Center, a little bit later. But first, we'd like to introduce you to Frank O'Brien. Frank used his engineering skill to take their two-car garage, which was their original shed, to build this area, which is over 180 square meters of shed plus out gardens. The blokes here say that this is a life-saving place. It's given them social interaction, a place to come and reskill. It was there when things went tragically wrong. It's there when they've needed help. This shed has been a lifeline for them. Then we're going to meet Matt McDonald. He's the garden programs manager, and he helps the men develop gardening, landscaping at the Keysboro Learning Center, where they build the ramps and rework the gardens for that center. Let's peek into this window of this house around the corner. My name is Frank O'Brien. I was one of the original foundation members of the Keys Men Shed. Uh, we first started in uh, May 2004 down at, at the Keysborough Learning Centre. It was a double door garage, seven metres by five. That was the actual site, very small, but the shed now is 22 and a half metres by eight metres. It's divided into two, it's 14 and a half metres long in the workshop area, eight metres by eight in the access room. The way it's set up, the way it became uh, what it is, is that I organised a, a building program. There was a building program. I designed the, the projects that, and obtained the building and planning permits. And we did a lot of work over at the learning centre, putting new, the reception area in, VCAL rooms in, paths, ramps, landscaping, so it's and completely renovated the whole of the old complex inside and out. We wouldn't exist the way we do if it wasn't for the Keysborough Learning Centre. And they generate the income which enables us to do what we do. If you look on the wall, all those tools on the wall have been donated. A lot of them are, what, 19th century? You know, they go back that far. And um, there's, a, there's a vertical drill, band saw, tangential saw, lathe, thickness, uh, you name it. All sorts of things are terrific. We're now in the outside area at the back of the men's shed. Uh, it's it's a, an area where we keep our tools, uh, store some wood. But the uh, activities we've got along here, of course, are gardening activities. Uh, we've built these little uh, raised garden beds. We've got all sorts of things in there, flowers and veggies um, at all sorts of stages. Some herbs and things here, garlic, parsley, a mint. And what we're doing today is just starting off some more little seedlings. These are some that we've started uh, a while ago. Uh, pansies, snapdragons, and they're coming on very nicely. Been in for about uh, four weeks. Today we're planting some poppies and lettuces, some peas, and we're going to specialise in hot chilies for our cooking, of course, in the kitchen. That's part of the idea. We, 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 we've got some flowers for, uh, for beauty, but we've got some plants also for uh, producing food and cooking in the kitchen. So we've planted some poppy seeds. The poppy seeds are very tiny, so we're just sprinkling a very small amount of the... Uh, the seed raising mix on top of the seeds there. Here we've already done that to the lettuces um, and they're in place. They only need to be watered now and put in the little uh, hothouse there. In, the, in this one, this one here, we have climbing peas. So we'll grow those up to a certain stage and they'll need to be planted out into the garden beds. And this one here is for our specialist red hot chilies. It, they're going to be growing in here. So we've, uh, I've already planted them and I'm going to do another pot of those shortly when we get some uh, soil into a pot. 
So this is, we have a little uh, a course running at the moment across the, the second half of the year called Garden Basics. And so that's what the fellows are involved in at the moment, just learning a bit, bit about soils, a bit about raising plants from seeds. Um, next week we're visiting uh, the Botanic Gardens in Cranbourne. So all sorts of things happening and we're looking forward to the spring of course, the great growing season. Hi, I'm Nicole Kirkwood and I'm here today with Mary Fox. How are you, Mary? I'm well, thank you. And today we are here at the Keysborough Learning Centre. Now, Mary, tell us a little bit about the programs you have here. Look, we run a number of programs and under the Learn Local banner, we run a community, an introduction to community services course and also a garden basics course that runs from our men's shed and we run an ESL literacy group. Some of the men from the, the men's shed actually have done some work on the garden and have built some ramps. Can you tell us a little bit about what they've done? Oh, well, look, they've, they've actually been um, our major workers. They're all volunteers um, and they've, re they've replanted all this garden area um, and they've also refurbished all the buildings. They've um, built the ramps. Um, we had a quote for $30,000 for the ramps and the men said, no, look, you don't need to pay that to do the ramps. We'll provide the labour and um, you, all you need to do is pay for the actual materials. So they actually did the ramps for us for $7,000, which was a massive yeah, saving for good. us. So Mary, is this one of the ramps that the men from the men's shed made? Uh, yes, it is. They're responsible for this and they've done the gardening and um, they've done the fit out in the open door area. Open door, what's that exactly? The open door is a material aid program. Now the open door was founded at about the same time as the Keysborough Learning Centre and that's run by, we do have a, an open door coordinator, Glenda Arthur, but all the other workers here are volunteers. Okay, wonderful. And we have some 80 plus volunteers working, not just in open door, but across all our areas at the Keysborough Learning Centre. Okay. So what is this room called? This is the open door reception area here and this is where our volunteers do their work. This is Glenda Arthur. Glenda is our Open Door Manager. Hi Glenda, how are you? And these are your volunteers, are they? These are our volunteers. Wonderful. Good, good job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just explore wherever we can open doors together. Take one step closer to another door. Just around the corner 